ran the same thing that we ran, tried to run what we did run uh, a couple games ago. We just didn't, we didn't get a turn back. I've said this a whole bunch of times in my mind. He's the best point guard in, in the league. And when you're the best point guard in the best league in America, you're pretty damn good. If you've ever watched uh, or been around Kansas here, they always shoot the ball better in the second half. I don't know that I've ever watched a game they didn't shoot it better in the second half. Guy's a great coach. Um, I mean, we had the play call for sure. Um, like Coach said, we just couldn't get it turned the way we needed to get it turned um, to kind of initiate our action. Uh, you know, credit to, I don't even remember who was guarding the ball, but he did a good job on the ball. And then, uh, you know, from there it was just chaos. And, um, you know, they made, they made it right, you know, they guard the ball and, you know, travel at the end. And, and then that's, that's how it ended. But, you know, it was a great game. It was a battle. Um, we just came up a little bit short. Eric, I know you want to win games like this, but how, how important is it for this effort that you guys are trying to build your resume and show you belong in? Oh, we belong. There's no question about it. Um, this obviously would have been nice, really nice. Um, we really wanted to come in here and get a win for Coach uh, in this program. Um, but, you know, there's a reason they win a lot of games in this building. Um, like Coach said, you know, Coach Shelf's a great coach. They got good players. They run good stuff. Um, and it's a hell of an atmosphere. So um, I'm never one to look at really like positives in a, in a loss, but, you know, I can't be more proud of my guys, my teammates. Um, there was a stretch that second half. I don't even think we subbed, you know what I mean? And, you know, we played our hearts out and just came up a bucket short. You know, a call here, a call there. You know, I had three in and outs. You know, I mean, it could have been the game right there. So uh, this one stings, but, you know, we got to get to Ames and wherever Iowa State is and, you know, go handle business and, you know, get a win there and then hopefully finish out a win uh, Kansas State at home. Eric, building off of that, what do you think this says about how close the Big 12 is just as a conference? Oh, I mean, it's head and shoulders above, above every, every other league, especially that I've played in. You know, I've played in a lot of leagues. So, um this is by far the toughest league, no question about it. Coaching staffs, players, systems, home atmospheres. Um, you know, I love playing in this league. Um, I got, you know, three guaranteed games left in Big 12 opponents. Um, you know, I, I just love playing in this league. I love playing, you know, in these atmospheres. Um, if you don't like playing in this league, you don't like playing basketball, period. Let, let, let me let me help you all with with your first question, Eric. Uh, we have far and away, and it's not even close, the best strength of schedule in the country. No question. And you know, if that doesn't mean something to the committee, shame on them. And 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 I think not just that. I mean, I I think you look at our our scores. Um, We 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 deserve to be we deserve to be in a tournament, you know. They they give you all that BS about you know play a strong schedule, play and then you play a strong schedule. Well, if if they continue to tell you to do that, then by God, they ought to end up they that'll hold up their end of the bargain. So you know, I mean, I I told our guys, I I don't think really we have anything to worry about, and I will bless their ass, I mean, as, as, as far and as long as I can if, if, if they don't let these guys in the, in the tournament after, you know, years and years of play a competitive schedule. 
You know, the, 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 the best teams are the teams that play the, the, the best strength of schedule. We have played the best strength of schedule, and it's not, it's not, argue, it's not arguable. We played the best. So, you know, I think, I think we ought to, we ought to, they ought to, they ought to get credit for it. Coach, Mo was not available today. I guess when did you know he wouldn't be able to go? And I guess what's his, his outlook look like moving forward? Yesterday. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's like anything else. I mean, I've gone through it as a player. Eric's gone through it as a player. You know, you have to get healed up, you know, and, and we've got to wait until, until uh, Mo gets healed up. Was, was that in walkthrough practice yesterday that it occurred, or was it a, kind of a lingering thing? It's 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 been a, a week or so or more, probably probably a couple of weeks. How does not having him kind of change what you guys want to do? Kind of moving down. I thought the we were pretty good today. Yeah. I mean, I, I I think our other guys can play. I mean, we 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 wish Mo could be out there, but I think our other guys did a pretty good job. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, man. Take us through that last defensive possession. Not only what you guys did to get the stop, but how important it was. Uh, yeah, uh, being up two, you know, kind of gotta gotta, you know, keep them off the line a little bit, and uh, you know, they were they were feeling themselves, they were hot, so it was it was important for us to, you know, make them at least take a contested shot, regardless of where it was, and uh, you know, fortunately they they got into the paint and kind of got scrambled a little bit, and we got a we got a good call. Are you are you thinking, don't give up the three there? Do you do you think that way, or do you just? grind and, and try to get the stop, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, I'm for sure thinking no threes. Um, you know, they hit a three in that moment. It'll probably be pretty tough for us to get a shot. And if we do, it, it won't be a, a good shot. So the uh, whole time I'm thinking just, you know, no fouls, no threes, and, and contested two-pointer. For both of you, so many charges, calls, free throws, grinded out possessions. Is that about as an appropriate way to end it as, as you could think of today? Yeah, you know, it's always great when you can win a game on defense. and. You know, in my situation, I kind of let one go at the end, but I just want to make it a little exciting. So <laughs> we did that, but yeah, winning from defense is, is always a lot sweeter for sure. And, and what, can you just take us through Juan's game today, especially first half? I mean, all, all kinds of steals. That's what he does, I know. Yeah. But was that different even for him, what you guys expect from him? No, Juan, Juan was terrific. Uh, did everything that we needed him to do today and more as far as, you know, how efficient he was on both ends of the floor. Um, you know, being the floor general that he is and that we need him to be, he was everything that we needed. And, um, you know, especially today with, uh, you know, how, how quick their guards were, he did a great job on both ends as far as getting to the paint, creating for himself and us, and uh, also getting stops. For both of you, did you guys know that Texas lost and where's your head at knowing that you're a game up now in the standings with two to go? Um, yeah, I think we found out when everyone did, when they're kind of all cheering. I remember hearing that, I just looked up quick, but... It wasn't really, yeah, I thought in our heads, we were just focused on, you know, what was in, the hand, in front of us, so. But, yeah, it's good knowing that now. Hey, for both of you guys, obviously I know you have some regular season games left and then the, the Big 12 tournament, but playing in a game like this, how is important is it with the NCAA tournament coming up, knowing you can grind one out and you're going to, um, it's not always going to be pretty, but you guys um, can find a way to get things done? Uh, I mean, it just shows, uh, you know, how tough it's going to be, you know, and when, especially in postseason when it's win or go home. Teams are playing, you know, ultra aggressive, super hard, and uh, you know we'll have to do a better job as far as closing out a game. But uh, you know, those are how games are going to be down to the wire. Uh, luckily, we've had the the best conference to prepare us for moments like these and uh, moments that we'll see moving forward. But um, you know, just continuing to get better at those things because it will come down to one possession, getting a stop, and, and getting the ball in balance. For either of you, every starter in double digits today. What does that say about the talent of your first five? Um. It just, you know, shows you know, when we come out that energy, we can, you know, be a special team. And, you know, it's always easier, obviously, when you're, you know, scoring buckets. But it's just buying in on the defensive side that's, I feel like, more important for us. And um, when we do that, like you see with, you know, that last possession, if we can do that and figure out to do that um, throughout the game, it's going to be, you know, good for us for sure. You guys built some leads, six, seven points, and, and never really could put them away. What, what made it so hard to, to knock them out today? Uh, they're just a they're just a great team, and you know if you know anything about West Virginia, you know they play super hard, super tough. Um, got a great coach that you know instills that into them. So uh, you know no lead is really safe with a team like that. Um, especially you know they're playing to get into the tournament, they're playing for for stakes, and and we are too. So when when it's a game like that, it's going to be pretty intense. And uh, 
you know, just got to continue to battle every possession and kind of just win every possession that you can. Jalen, what does it mean to be able to clinch a tie at the least on Tuesday? If uh, you win? It means a lot, you know. Uh, that'll be that'll be you know two years now in a row. Um, I think that'll be two or three conference championships all on scene. I think my freshman year we did, and COVID obviously didn't. But then last year, so uh, you know it'll be great. You know that's that's our that's our goal always coming into the season. It's the first one, the conference championship. Uh, it'll be tough. You know, Tech's been been playing really good, and uh, we'll have to come prepared. You already talked about it, but when you forced the travel on that last possession, were you double teaming the guy? You and Kevin, or oh, I didn't even see Kevin. I was just trying to. That dude was so quick. I was just trying to keep him in front of me. Uh, he was doing so many dribbles, but um, <laughs> I was just trying to, you know, contest the shot. I didn't see Kevin, but I knew he was back there somewhere, you know, guarding somebody. He was your guy. Oh, he was. Okay, but it's just, I know. <laughs> when you when you go through a game like this, and the, um, especially kind of how it ended there at the end, what are your what are your emotions like, and? Um, what are you feeling, and and are you trying to see the next play, or um, I don't know what's what, like what's going on. Well, I mean, if I ask you to repeat that question, could you actually do it? I again? could. Uh, I uh, 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 like you had the turnover, and then you're up one. And oh then, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we just we, you know, we won the game. Happy we won. We probably needed to be humbled a little bit. We got humbled today and still won. Uh, we screwed up the last possession, obviously. Uh, on multiple times, uh, we gave up the uncontested layup with no time left on the shot clock. You throw it in and you turn it over. Uh, Grady's better than that, uh, but but uh, you know just not being strong and everything. And you know, I would like to think that if Juan was in the game, we'd probably do a better job of getting him the ball and and maybe not have to throw it in to another. But still, you got to be able to make the play. But I told our guys after the game, you know, I'm happy we won. But if that was a second round NCAA tournament game, our season would be over. Uh, uh, you know, that's that's going to be an eight nine game, which will be somewhat comparable to West Virginia, and and, and we'd be going home. Uh, uh, so, hopefully, we can learn from that. I thought Juan was great. I thought Kevin was great. I thought everybody else just kind of pieced it together. Uh, the, the bench, you know, played eleven minutes the first half and had six turnovers. Uh, we charged probably six times, uh, and that was part of scouting report. We uh, we didn't do a lot of things right. Our ball and body movement wasn't as good, uh, and our energy defensively uh, was at its best there on the last possession. But I know you can't play like that every possession. But we didn't come close to to simulating that early in the game. So a lot of things we can get better from in this game, and fortunately we can. Do, a, do some learning through winning as opposed to learning through losing. And, and at this time of year, you want to try to avoid that as much as possible. So all in all, is a good day, but certainly not a well-played game by us. Give West Virginia all the credit on that. You answered every question there. so I'll I mean, he you. asked several of them, though. <laughs> I mean, so it was kind of open-ended. You know. Way to take it and run. I, I, what do you know about Dewan and and KJ and I mean were those just cramps or what? no no Juan wasn't Juan, Juan, Juan they they fell on his foot so okay. so he uh, Juan's tough and for him to say he can't go back in uh, you know that that's obviously uh, a big deal so uh, uh, he said he could probably play if it was overtime and I'm like well so that three minutes is going to make a huge difference I mean so if you could play in overtime why couldn't you play now but he he. Uh, he, he said, he, so that tells me he's, he was hurt. So we'll, we'll probably give him a couple of days off and hope he's able to go on Tuesday. And, you know, Joe and Bobby both have that that 72 or 96 hour, whatever it is, stomach flu going around. That's a violent, you become violently ill. And so we were lucky that they played today because that was not the game plan. We were thinking maybe not even either one of them play. So we we're lucky, even though we didn't do a lot, but we stole a little bit of minutes, uh, a few minutes for them. And then, uh, uh, but KJ was just a cramp. So, you know, other, other than one, I think we got through it okay. And, and when you talk about, you know, piecing it together, what, what's the value in that, w whether it's possession to possession or, or big picture like you were talking about? I mean, how important is it for your guys to, 
because when you guys play well, you look really good. But but to understand that when it doesn't go well, you can still piece it together. How, yeah, how well, important I, is I that? think I think we're getting that. I, I I think we're getting that. You know, we didn't play well at TCU offensively and still won the game. And and uh, uh, it was different though. We won the game and we were really good defensively. We didn't win the game and was really good defensively today. So, and and obviously they were much quicker to the ball, rebounding. It looked like to me we were uh, stuck in quicksand there for a period of time in the second half. And when we get a seven-point lead or whatever, we'd find a way to give it right back to them. So uh, uh, it's kind of strange. I, you know, they took the lead, I think, one time in the second half, like 41, 42 or something like that. And other than that, we had the lead the whole time. So at least we played with the little lead, but it was, it was never comfortable. And, and when you're playing on the road and you're the underdog uh, like that and the basket gets tied a little bit if you're the home team, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, sometimes you actually play with a freer mind than what the home team does, and I think that happened today too. Coach, everybody, every starter in double digits, what does that say about how your first five is playing right now or uh, how your bench is playing? It's, it's, it's misleading, okay, just so you know. The bench didn't play today, so the starters should score more points. So, so it's, 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 uh, it's misleading. Uh, we didn't play as well today. Uh, and, and, and the reason the bench didn't play, you know, West Virginia played small. So you had, you know, the first time we sub Ernest in, you know, Mitchell steps out and makes a three because that was what they were going to play to. So we couldn't play the bench. And, and then those other two have been sick, so we didn't really have any options uh, to, but to play our starters. So, uh, you know, we, we did some good – we did enough good things, but we didn't do near as many as we need to do moving forward. Bill, uh Jalen said that he was really trying hard to, to stay in front of that guy who traveled on the last play of the game. What did you see on that play from Jalen's defense? Well, I, uh, what, what, I, what I saw, and I'd have to go back and watch it because I, I can't, you know, see it in real time and, and actually study it. But what I saw, I saw five guys really guarding. I saw Jalen doing a great job. Uh, but, uh, but I also saw Jalen doing a great job in that possession, which makes me wonder, why don't we do more great jobs in other possessions? That's what I saw. So I, th I think sometimes, sometimes in basketball or in sports, you know, it, it's it's like you know, if if you, I remember doing this with Doak. You know, okay, Doak, we got to run down and back twice, but you got to make it in 17 seconds, and if you don't, the whole team runs. Well, he runs it in 16, and the players start laughing because they, and there he's like going, why? And I said. You screwed up. You showed him how fast you are. Now he's going to expect you to run that hard all the time. So that's kind of what I see in that last possession. We're capable of being better than what we were today because he was really good there at the end. McCuller just ripped the ball from guys twice. Was that special defense from him? Yeah, he played. He played. Yeah, he's 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 a good defender. Now I, th I thought Stevenson got him a couple of times today, but he 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 he's a, he's a good. He and Juan collectively are. Are good defensively, and and uh, they're our best two defenders. And you know he did a great job when when Mitchell was trying to post him there at the end, and when we were switching five, and and uh, you know he ended up taking his ball. But you know uh, I know Kevin banked it in, and that was luck. But he's doing all, he's making a lot of winning plays for us right now. Stevenson, Johnson, and Mitchell all look like standout players. Do you think they deserve a bid? Uh, well, you guys saw him play today. Does that look like an NCAA tournament team to you? And the answer is an emphatic yes. Yeah, I mean, they're good. And, and uh, uh, the league's just really hard. The league is really hard. And, and they're, they're really good. And, and, you know, the thing about it is with Johnson, when we played Johnson the first time, he was hurt and didn't play. He makes a huge difference uh, because he's so fast. And, and you know, I don't know if you know, we couldn't even run plays because he would deflect a pass or play between – one and where the next pass is going, where you couldn't throw it, so it, your, your play's dead because obviously he's totally disrupted it already. He he's really good, and and, uh, and Mitchell had a great game, and of course uh, Stevenson could score with the best of them. Were there any special things said with you and Huggins today before special? After the game? Special yeah. would be a little bit of a reach, I think. <laughs> you know, he asked me if I had any shine, and I said no. Nah, they only make that in West Virginia, so so. Uh, uh, but no, nah, hugs, hugs, hugs is great, uh, and he had his team ready to play today. There's no doubt about that. But that's an NCAA tournament team. Coach, wondering if you could tell him just how much more confident, more loose your group plays when Dewan scoring the basketball. 
well, we're a better team when Juan scores the basketball, but I don't think we played like a loose team today. But, yeah, we're obviously much better when he's looking to score. And the way they guarded, you know, they, they squeezed ball screens and went under. They dared him to beat him, and he did. So, so uh, that, that, was, that was fun to see him be aggressive like that. Did you know coming to this one that this was a, a game when Juan would maybe have more chances to score? Uh, we thought that they would guard him the way they guard him. Yeah, yeah. So, Big picture, uh, you, could, you could tie for the title minimum on Tuesday. What do you think of the, the fact you guys are right there? Well, we got some help today. Uh, you know, we, I'm not going to leave out of here being negative. I'm leaving out of here thinking we're fortunate we won and we can be humbled enough that we can get better from it. But to think that this team in the – you know, I, I heard Vital say today that this was the best league in NCAA college basketball the last 20 years. He said it. Now, I don't always agree with what Dick says, but I actually agree with that. I mean, that's, that, 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 that's a pretty bold statement. And, and to think after losing what we lost that you could come in here and, you know, have a chance to control your own destiny and, and win a league championship at home, at least clinch, clinch a tie, uh, to me that's pretty special. So uh, I, I certainly hope that we prepare in a way that – and the fans appreciate how hard that's been on our guys. and and what a good level and high level they played at for the most part all year long. Do you know who will give speeches Tuesday yet? Yes, uh, uh, Kevin and, and Jalen. Yeah, those are the only two. So We got six seniors, but those are the only two that it impacts right now. So. Anything else? Okay, guys. Coach. All right, guys.